Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the Surrey Hills again, of course, and I brought you back to one of my first videos actually on this channel. I brought you back to uh, Polston Lacey, the estate of Polston Lacey, which I did the open air Shakespeare um, theatre with a few times. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have a little look in the house. We'll go down to the, the open air stage uh, and have a little walk around the gardens. It's a lovely day. Nice and blowy up here, actually. I didn't feel it to be as, uh, as windy, but it's great. And yes, I am wearing the Dominic Clay hat. Those are six people who've seen my movies, Return to Ravenswood and Ravenswood. This is one of the hats I used in the second film. Uh, um, not really a hat wearer, but I thought, why not? But uh, yeah, it's a lovely day. Let's go and have a look inside. Okay, I'm not doing the tour. I thought it was freely you could walk around the house, but actually you can't walk around the house freely till one o'clock, which is fine. I've done the tour before. That's right where you walk in, you've just got a camera, no flash, you know, all the normal stuff that these properties do. Start panicking. Um, so yeah, all very nice, but it's, it's a little bit stuffy, so it wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, but lovely. No, very interesting talk, by the way. I have done the tour before and it's really interesting. So yeah, let's have a little walk around the grounds instead. But you can see the video of Poles and Lacey inside, link below, from 2018. This is one of the Natural Trust's uh, premier properties uh, in southern England. It's also, I think, their headquarters of the southeast as well. It's lovely. Of course, its famous resident was uh, Margaret Grenville, who was an Edwardian socialite and held many lush, lush parties here over a 30 year period before. Uh, it was left to the National Trust in 1942. And there's Margaret Grenville's grave, right by the house she loved so much. little tower. Pot puree, one pound. Please use the honesty box provided. I'm sure people are very honest. Poles and Lacey's Rose Garden from 1804 right through to 1942 when she passed away. Oh. Oh, very hot day today. Um, now as I'm not going in the house save you watching the previous video what I'll do is I'll cut in some of the shots from that video four years ago just so you can see inside
Did you enjoy that? Good. Let's carry on with the walk. to have a thing about greenhouses like the one we saw recently at Down House. I'm no gardener or anything by any stretch of the imagination. There's something quite traditional about a greenhouse, especially when it's on a historic property, isn't it? This is the brilliant garden cottage, which you can rent out. Uh, through the National Trust to stay in as a little lodge. Wouldn't that be cool? Obviously I'm not going to do that because I don't live far away. But yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I wonder this was built. Early 20th century, probably. I'll have to look and probably get that completely wrong. Yeah, it's very, very nice. The bridge over the road. Great. Here comes the car. One of the National Trust cars now. Hope you can hear me because it's quite blowy because we're right high up on the North Downs here. You should come and visit. It's a really, really interesting place, especially the house. Um, so I've been here many times actually <laughs> over the years. And I did the, uh, say, the open air Shakespeare three times uh, in the last few years, which we'll, we'll go down to the open air stage in a minute. Remember, remember, have some few memories. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's a lovely day. I've got a pub lunch booked, of course, at the Bell in Fetchum, next near uh, a church I went to uh, about last year, I think it was, but it was closed. Um, so we might might have a look at that, see if it's open. Yeah, let's carry on. Love this. <laughs> Quite sure what it's supposed to be. Is it just an installation? Was it? Did it used to be something? Cooking pot? No. <laughs> I said in the previous video four years ago, this is the croquet lawn and people are playing croquet over there. I mean, croquet really has got to be the silliest game ever, isn't it? But hey, what do I know? Very little. I mean, what stunning views. There you got poles in Lacey House and you spin round and you go all the way down to Ranmore Common on the North Downs. The earliest house here was 1336, but I think there's evidence of it going back to Roman period. But I would say it probably goes back far, far further than that because we're up on a high ridge on the North Downs. It probably was an ancient settlement on, the, uh, on this land. I mean, here you can pretty much see your enemies coming or prey coming if you're up this high. Absolutely amazing view.
love these Romanesque plinths. When it really was Roman. <laughs> yeah, it's great, isn't it? A little bit like Paintall Park, a few little follies uh, around the ground of Poles in Lacey. Obviously not as much as uh, Paintall Park, but uh, yeah, still very nice. This is the, I think called the Long Walk, is it? The Long Walk. I know people who have been tour guides here, so they'll correct me, I know. So here we are, the rather overgrown Poles and Lacey Open Air Shakespeare Company's stage, the Open Air Stage. There's a nice plaque here that went up a couple of years ago. Poles and Lacey Shakespeare, commemorating 70 years of Shakespeare performances, 1951 when we started, to 2021. Yeah, I did uh, three. Uh, the Tempest, Much Ado About Nothing, and The Merry Wives of Windsor. Yeah, it's fairly, it's, it's, it's stopped. Although I, I think there are plans to sort of bring it back, but at the moment it's stopped for some reason. I mean, it was glorious. People just would come out, camp out with picnics. There was a big canopy over there, and we just chilled out and watched some Shakespeare over summer's afternoon. Absolute bliss, absolute bliss. Um, bloody fine performers as well um, involved. Hi guys, Sunday afternoon and we are at Polesden Lacey Estate uh, while we're rehearsing this, The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is on uh, last weekend of June and into July, three o'clock matinees. It's Gary directing over there, you can see it. It's the lovely Pete. Oh, we've got a yeah. A little way. It's not really a steady cam. But it's, uh... Thanks, Al. I can't get these back together. <laughs> <laughs> I could build a set, but I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll give you a hand. Which way have you looked for Master Kyan? I most firmly desire you will also look that way. I will, sir. How melancholy I am. This is where we got changed in here, now all locked up, lovely. Very nice because when it was really hot and we are performing we've got a nice shade back here with the, the trees and everything. Uh, the long walk is just over there. Yeah, lovely. Sad times and theatre is no more. Lovely. Just talking to a nice gentleman who's painting a door who works for the National Trust. He saw a couple of the uh, Shakespeare plays here. Yeah, I think the last play was in 2019 before lockdown. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll come back one day. Um, who knows, I may tread the boards again. So there you go, a quick walk around Polson Lacey Estate. Didn't go in the house, you saw the footage. Let's move on to the next stop. I've always got to have a quick look in the National Trust shop, of course. So I brought you back to St Mary's Church in Fetcham. That was here 2020. Have a look around. Now go around to the door. Let's see if we can get in. This is lovely. Incubants of St Mary's Fetchum and all the uh, 
people have been reverent here, going back to 1272. 1272. As you notice, my head's gone flat. I've actually removed my hat. Because I'm in a church. It'd be disrespectful walking with a hat on. Um, yeah, lovely old church. The tower above is 1180, the tower. Very old church. Ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. These are really striking. Early Norman pillars. Early Normans are built when the, when the church was constructed. Norman, almost a thousand years old. Real history and a cobweb just gone on my face. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a fleeting visit to St Mary's Church in Fetchum. Also nice to get out of the heat of the sun. Yeah, it's a lovely little church. I'm glad I got in here. It'd be nice if I got in here before. I'll link that video below. We also went to an ancient spring nearby as well uh, in Leatherhead. So yeah leaving these wonderful Norman pillars uh, behind. Wow. Uh, we're going to head over to um, the pub for a lovely pub lunch. There you go guys, a nice little trip around Polesden Lazy Estate. Quick little uh, trip into the St Mary's Church in Fetchum and a nice pub lunch at the Bell in Fetchum with Fetchum prices. But no, it's really nice, lovely service, great people there, uh, thoroughly recommended. Um, I've never been to Fetchum before, it's only down the road, I don't think I've even dream, driven through it. Apart from going to the church last year, hmm, something new. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.